Have you booked that trip to Ireland yet? Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial, and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Welcome to the show. The London Irish Vintage Day is always a great occasion and this year our very own Chris Hazel went along to capture the atmosphere. Yes, thanks Martin. It's looking like it's going to be a fantastic day. Lots of vintage tractors, vintage cars, great music and the sun is shining, or at least trying to. I started this in, uh, 12 years ago, but because of the pandemic, we couldn't run it for two years. So this is it now for the first time in almost three years. And um, as you can see now today, we've got a lot of vehicles here. And these are all Irish people that are based here, mainly in London, that are here today. We, we done a, a bit of a run from Wexham, Tony McGovern's, Tony McGovern's uh, land, and we had a, a great turnout out there and we have a great day, tractors, cars, lorries, and it's unbelievable. I'm from a place called, a wee village called Carrigart, northwest Donegal beside Downings, on the Ross Gully Peninsula, one of the most scenic parts of Donegal. But I would say that because I'm from there. 
but a, a lovely place. And I started the Vintage Club uh, 12 years ago, but because of the pandemic, we're two years out of out of zinc. And we're back now this year, bigger than ever. And we've got great support, you know, to here today. We have Flannery's up there, has got a, a simulator. We've got different other activities, loads of cars. And that's what we want. We wanted that. We had a, a tractor run, lorry run, a car run from a place called Wexham, Tony McGovern from County Leitrim. He kindly gave us the permission to use it. And Tony phoned a lot of people and got a lot of people out to do it today. We came in the A40 and we've got all the vehicles here. To be quite honest with you, I thought we wouldn't have enough room. But as you can see, we have plenty of room here today. Back in Donegal, I have a 770 David Brown and a, a fortune major that my old fella, um, my old fella passed away a few years ago and he used to look after them and do them up. So that's why I got the bug of tractors. So I still have two anyway, you know. Paddy Bonner, um, ex-Irish international, of course, and I'm um, here with uh, Donegal County Council. Uh, as an ambassador, they asked me to come on board about three or four years ago, and I've kind of done that. Obviously, COVID hit, but we were uh, doing a lot of reaching out to the diaspora around the world, not not just uh, here in, in UK, but also in America and so on. And, and it's a joy, actually, and I've learned so much from from actually being involved with them about what actually is happening in Donegal as much as we all remember Donegal as, as we grew up. But, uh, and that's still the case. Listen, we have our beaches, we have our uh, lovely mountains and lakes and we go there and we really enjoy ourselves and the hospitality, but Donegal is much more than that now. You know, it's just moved on to a different level from a point of view of business and so on. And uh, so, so yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting journey. No connection whatsoever with tractors. I grew up in a, in a little, uh, well, let's call it a little uh, farm, a very small farm with hens and uh, cows and hay and turnips and potatoes when I grew up as a young man. That's all changed, of course. Nobody does it too much at home now. Uh, from where I come, way down the northwest of Donegal, uh, out in a place called Burton Port. Fishing was our big industry. My name is Margaret Rose Cunningham and I manage the Glencon Kill Folk Village in Donegal. This is our day two and we go home tomorrow. So it's a flying visit but it's really worthwhile coming over. I manage a little folk village, it's 55 years open. It's a thatched cottage, a coastal village with nine cottages and it depicts the way of life going back to the 1700s. So it's full of culture and history and good people, it's really historical. Well, some of them are making a traditional St. Bridget's Cross and uh, Marlene is knitting and I've got a spinning wheel there, a traditional Donegal wheel. So we like to demonstrate every so often and just let people try as well. So you can have a go yourself if you want to try and make a cross. <laughs> Tractors, oh my God, there's an identical tractor here to the one we grew up with, an old Dexter, probably, I don't know, 1967, uh, that my dad had and it's painted the same colour. So it's really wonderful to see it. The trucks, the cars, the lorries, everything just looks amazing. It's really well put together and the people are so welcoming and it's such a huge effort that's gone into this today. Yes, traditionally this is where you pricked your finger if you were going to fall asleep for a hundred years, but all you need now is two nights out with the Donegal ones. I came over here when I was 17, about 60 years ago, and I came from a place called Leitrim, Avas in Leitrim, and uh, I was in the pub business for a while and then we started in the haulage and the groundwork and uh, then we ended up in the waste, waste disposal business for 50 odd years. So now we have packed up that and we're just dealing in a bit of property and um, we have the vintage lorries and tractors and such things and giving a bit of my time to charity, to do charity work. We started the thing 11 years ago which was 2011 and it ran very well from the start. And we always had good weather. We never had a wet day. How many vehicles have you got here today? Uh, we have about 12 altogether and a few tractors. And are they all working vehicles? Oh yeah, well, they'll all work, but they're all vintage. If it's 40 years, it's classic. And if it's 50 and 60 years, it's vintage. And some of them are 70 years of age. So it's great to see them restored and brought back to their as they were in the working day. And I kiss my car. 
by the factory wall. Caught your targets, dirty old town. Dirty old town. It's a brilliant turnout, fantastic. Well, and you know the weather, you can't go wrong, can you? You know, right at the tail end of summer, we're actually in the autumn now, aren't we? So, yeah. Fantastic to turn out, and we, we would like to play some uh, traditional music just to see because a lot of it's country Irish based, and you know, people like to jive and dance to that, so yeah. We actually played at the very first one and it was a quiet enough event when they were just getting it up and started. Don't ask me what year it was, but it was a while ago. Yeah, and Tiny was still here then, you know. Well, and he's still the same, he's still the same size, it's, you know. It's Tiny's thing, isn't it? Yeah, all of this. Tiny fish from Japan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiny Tears, is he? He'll probably hear this. Listen here, Tiny Tears. I know it's a crack, you know. So. <laughs> I grew up on a farm, so you know about tractors, you know, and uh, the first tractor I remember on our farm was a Ford major my dad had it and uh, that's before cabs and bars and all that and uh, yeah we sort of learned on that and then he moved on to the old uh, the, the zetter the, so the saying was the massey is classy but the zetter is better tractors is my favorite you know i mean we were brought up with a gray ferguson gray ferguson harry ferguson was a genius and we used to have a gray ferguson house and then we sold that and we moved we moved over to the the 135 which the brother has kevin back in donegal a lovely tractor, you know, and uh, that was about, you know. And we, we're from a small farming community here, and everybody knows everybody, you know, and that, that's great. You could have anything up to 10,000, you know, unbelievable amount of people coming here today. And, and has it recovered, do you think, from...? Oh, I, I, undoubtedly. All you get is inquiries about it, you know, and asking when's the vintage day and when's it on and when's this and when's that, you know. That's unbelievable. We have a great committee. We have an uh, unbelievable committee, and that's important that they're mentioned too because I can't do it all. And without the committee, you cannot do it, you know. And we have a great committee, and, and Flannery's have stepped up to the mark, you know, and helped out, you know. We're here just to have a look at the, the, the vintage show and come back to our old roots here when I, I lived here about 12 years. So that's. That's the whole reason to bring this little man with us. Show him all the cars. We love looking at the cars. Where have you come from? Uh, Kildare. We're going to see the diggers and the tractors. Digger, this, he's digger and tractor mad, this guy. <laughs> Loves him. What's your favourite car? Uh, favourite car, I think, is a, a probably a Ferrari, but old car. Definitely into all the old Fords and stuff like that. Cosworth. Sierra Cosworth. Loved him. Loved him. Love to have him one night. Favourite car? I actually am that interested in the cars. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't know them too well if I'm honest. Maybe the Mercedes only. Mercedes, yeah. yeah, definitely up there. The old Mercedes. We come from a place called Kilbride, Finney, County Mayo, near Clonbar. And I come from Cornamuna, County yeah. Galway. Galway, yeah. Which is not far from here. And we we buy machines and we hire them out all over the UK. So Mary, are you the power behind the business? I think I was at one stage when uh, things were really tough. <laughs> but now all our boys, uh, there's four of my five children in the business now. So they've taken it to another level altogether. I'm retired. Well, I go in every day and I check everything, make sure <laughs> the, 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 the books are balancing. <laughs> he knows and every penny in and every penny out. I have a tractor, this tractor here, I bought it in 1966. And I used to do farm work in Ireland do, for little far, small farmers and you'd, you'd cut hay and do the ploughing in bits and pieces. That, and was that, was, that was one of the first ones, similar to that. That was his first plant hire. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. He got the bug then and came to England. Yeah. <laughs> so how That's long it. are you here? You're here? I'm here now. Well, well I'm in plant hire 50 years now and I came here You're in 69. Yeah. Celebrating 69. our 50th year. Yeah. Just gone in June. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's a big achievement, really. My name I know is not my own. For they call me Crooked Guy. It's great to see a big crowd out supporting the London Irish Vintage Day. 
Now we're going to take a little break and we'll see you in two minutes. Have you booked that trip to Ireland yet? Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial, and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Welcome back. This week we're at the London Irish Vintage Day in Greenford and Chris Hazel has been very busy filming all the activities. Headlining of the day is Nathan Carter. He's a big international star and, he, and he's very popular in the UK. He's here today with his big massive band and we've got Mary Rose playing and we've got a great uh, band based in London, Hungry Grass as well, with Peter Cochran and his crew of boys. And it'll be an unbelievable day and brilliant music. So if you're about next year, call down because we will be running this next year again. Every year's bigger and better but you can't do it without the support of the London Irish community. Without that, it's a waste of time. But all them, all them companies uh, come along and supply men like Coffee, Mark Henry, uh, Mark Rail, and I'll always leave somebody out, so I apologise now. I was here four years ago and it was a wonderful occasion then too, uh, but it's nice to see all the people back after the COVID experience, building relationships again. Of course, Brendan Tiny, as we all know him, lovely know him, uh, has done a wonderful job and the charity events. So I'm here, but mostly it's a trying to promote what Donegal 
actually do and what Donegal County Council do. They, they, they uh, reach out to people, help them if they want to relocate it back to uh, back into the county, all the service is there for them. It's surprising actually what is there. You know, we've, we've had a huge broadband, as good as you would get anywhere in the world now. That's a huge advantage for a lot of remote working now. We've learned from COVID that we can work from home. A lot of our young people who've traveled the world and had to go, go abroad, now they can stay at home, they can come back actually re relocate. So all them services there for them too. And if you want to come back, some of the London people here are back investing back in our county also, which is hugely important. Uh, there is, there'll, there'll always be issues that they have to overcome. Donegal County Council is there to help and support. My first car was a, was a little, uh, Gulf, I think, when I went to Glasgow when I was a young man 44 years ago, I got a car. And in fact, my first car was a was a Chevette, a Vauxhall Chevette, and we were sponsored by by. I played with Celtic, so so we got sponsored. Uh, and a little Chevette was a, my first car. I moved on. Then a Capri. I got the lovely. Remember the Capri with a big nose? That was a lovely, lovely car. One here. Yeah, is there? Is there? I love that car. That was a great car. And then whatever else thereafter. But those were my, were my first uh, cars. And obviously playing with Celtic got people were knew who I was and uh, one of the kids said I wonder what kind of car he's got let's follow him out to the car park I bet he's got a big Rolls Royce or something and I had a little wee small golf <laughs> so they were very disappointed I must say <laughs> it means a lot to us because we started it 11 years ago eight or nine of us and it started from nothing on the first year we ran it we paid out 30,000 and it went to 80,000, 100, when the last year I was involved, I'm not involved in it, I am involved in it, but not in the committee. Uh, we paid out 150,000 that year. That was back in 2016. So please God this year they'll have 100,000 at least. These events are fantastic. Um, it's really great to be recognised as a sponsored charity for this event. We are getting some financial funding and that will really serve some of the services that we provide for people living with dementia. And living with dementia is, a, is a, an illness where people really need community support people involved, services that make a difference, not just to the people living with dementia, but the people that care for those living with dementia. Dementia concerns about keeping people living in their own homes, and it's about a holistic wraparound care, and the money that's provided here will help us to continue to provide services that really make a difference. The great thing about coming to this event is not just about raising awareness of the d dementia, but it's about meeting people from all walks of life because dementia impacts everybody and we need to reach those people and raise awareness. So yeah, being here, being in the community of Ealing is wonderful. I've absolutely loved it. So from the organisation, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the event organisers for, for inviting us today and for making us feel so warmly welcomed. Thank you, it's been wonderful. We're a riding centre, mainly for people with special needs of various types. Um, people with physical, emotional, social, uh, people who don't fit in easily can come to us in a non-judgmental world. They can take part in riding. The ponies are very easy going. They accept people as they are. They have no great expectations. And you can find a child or an adult, because we do have adults as well, who may not be able to communicate with people, but they can make a connection with a pony or a horse or a donkey. We have donkeys as well. And the, the confidence building that children come and they'll, they might be terrified to touch a horse. And after a few weeks, they're sitting on that horse and riding it. We're run mostly by volunteers. So an event like this brings us in some much needed income. We've got to feed the horses year round and we've got to keep things going along. So yes, this is very important. Things like this mean a lot to us. And we're going to make a nice donation to Thomas O'Halloran, who, uh, who was killed down in Greenford there. So that we'll try our best. We we'll try our best. We we'll, we'll work and live in London. We we'll try and raise the money for local charities. This kind of an event doesn't happen. It doesn't just happen. It has to be organised, and a lot of work has gone into this. Well, in the past year, probably or more. 
but certainly in the last week they've been flat out getting all this put together. It's fantastic, wonderful. Tiny, the, the original organiser, and still is the, the main man, he came to me one day, he said, I'm going to do it. So I said, and what are you going to do the tractor run from? He said, I'm going to do it from Westminster. I said, what? Westminster? I said, you're having a laugh. No, I'm serious. He said, I've got, I've got permission from the police. I've got permission from the police. And that's what he done. And he, he done, and then we done it from the old Galtee Moor afterwards. And it was fantastic coming along the North Circular in Conboy. I come from, uh, from County Cavan, from a little place called Dan Gavin, like the sign says on the, on the tractor there. And uh, I came here in 1965. And of course, it's not the Ireland I left, and this isn't the country that I came. Everything has changed so much. We're the last part of forge in London, so there's got all the blacksmiths are gone, it's only me. Um, which is a real shame, but there we go, that's progress, isn't it? What I did is I went to college and studied fine art sculpture and then applied it to the blacksmithing and between the two um, I can make sculptures and gates and anything you like in steel. Um, I do a lot of work for the Royal Palaces, Tower of London, Hampton Court Palace, Lambeth Palace and Kensington Palace. We also get involved in uh, film productions. Um, we a couple of years ago we did um, David Lean Black and White with Great Expectations. So I was involved in setting up Forge, um, worked with Mike Figgis, the director, um, and we showed young Pip and old Pip how to do a bit of blacksmithing. And we've taught various actors who's, who've had jobs as blacksmiths uh, on film to, uh, how to do, how to look like they know what they're doing. Um, and we just get involved in it on every level. Just about to go on now and there's a great crowd, so they're all in good form and ready and raring to go. They've done a load of photographs and a load of signatures out the front. Oh, 500 so far, I think, so what? Delighted. I don't know anything about tractors. I've driven a few, but I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have a clue how to to, uh, to maintain one or to oil one or do anything. I wouldn't have a clue. But I love driving them. So, and I've seen a good few here today. They look fantastic. Yeah, this is my first time playing at this particular event. Uh, delighted to be back again in London. Um, I was in the tent there. Feels like I'm in Donegal. The amount of accents, you know. Uh, but yeah, huge crowds, great weather, great setup, and delighted to be here. You never know. Um, yeah, I could uh, maybe invest up ahead in a little tractor, a little massy maybe. Could have any one of these tractors what would you have do you know there's there's so many fine tractors it's hard it's hard to put your finger on them it's an incredible selection of stuff i couldn't i couldn't ask for more stuff you know it's unbelievable fair play to brendan vaughan he puts his heart and soul into organizing this great day every year and a big thank you to chris hazel for making a great show well, that's about it for this week. Just to remind you that Henry McGlade is back with us with his show next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock from County Mayo, and we're here at 7.30. Until then, take good care, and thank you all for watching. Yeah.